What's happening guys, welcome back to another video. I'm going to be doing some lockdown episodes, so instead of me going out and doing stuff on the car, obviously we have to be stuck inside a bit more. Um, so I thought it would be a good idea to run through, we're going to do, I've got two parts already but it's probably going to go on to more. Um, so this first part is going to be my top 10 exterior mods on the cheap. Um, so number one is going to be wind deflectors. They make your car look cool, they're tinted and obviously they do what they say on tin, they deflect wind from coming into the car. Um, yeah, if you're gonna get them, you're gonna go for Team Heco. You can pick them up for about 30 to 40 pound depending if you've got like a two door or five door, four door, you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, that's my number one. The number two would be debadging, dechroming or gel badge. Um, so like Ford's, like Jordan's ST that I did a re review on um, and many other cars you can get gel badges, different colours on them for like the steering wheel, the back of the car, the front badge, the back badge. Or you can get rid of them, you can debadge them. That's if they aren't bolted in, just double check. Um, or you can de-chrome, which is going to be uh, taking them off, spraying them, sticking them back on, or mask off, spray. Or the fan favourite of all the cool kids is plaster dip. Um, debadging, it's not really going to cost you much, you're going to have to spend a lot of time debadging, um, you might have to get like some sticky spray, I think you can pick that up for about four or five quid, um, so if you're going to do that route it's going to cost you about five pound. Um, gel badges, um, I think that's probably going to cost you all up to 30 pound, depending how many badges etc. Uh, plaster dip, I know you can get a can of black plaster dip for like eight pound. Um, if you look around for it, so it's a fairly really cheap mod. Number three is a sunstrip. Um, so a sunstrip has many uses. Looks sick as fuck. Um, and obviously, depending how low you have it coming down, it is going to block the sun. You're not going to have to use your sun visor because you have a sick window screen sunstrip. Um, you can stick loads of stickers on it if you want to, or you can have it nice and plain. Um, and you can buy these off eBay for about 10 to 15 pound, maybe a bit cheaper. Or you can go to a, a vinyl wrapper and they'll probably knock you one up, but you will probably have to pay a bit extra because they'll want to fit it. So you might be looking at all up to 20 to 25 pound. Number four on this list is going to be painting your calipers simple and effective so you really want to go with something that's going to suit the theme of your car so if you've got blue bits on your car you want to go blue calipers just nice and subtle or you might just want to go for the Brembo look you might want to paint them red racing red Brembo red or you might just want to go a simple yellow um, Either way that you want to do it, you can do it with hammerite on a brush. You want to go for a smooth to get the glossy look. Um, or you can spray paint them, but I won't recommend doing that on the car. You need them off of the car. So you want to be going for like hammerite paint to last. Um, you only need a small tub and a brush. I think the paint's going to be like £9. And then you want a cheap brush, which is going to cost you maybe a pound, two pound. Number five on this list it's just stickers so a lot of people like doing um, like a cool line down the back of the window with like group stickers or you might want a big sticker in the middle you want a, might want them in the side of your back window or side window with your group's name on it or on your sunstrip all like that funny stickers um, so yeah that's number five Price-wise, 
you could be looking at all again it, it's it's really depending how much stickers you want if you want a couple of simple stickers you might want to be spending about ten pound um so yeah that's number five number six on this list is painting your wheels now a lot of people this might not interest a lot of people you might want to leave it to the professionals but if you want to have a go your sen um again plaster dip don't need no prep can literally spray them on the car if you really wanted to or you can pull them off spray them that's cheap as i say you might need two cans um, so you're going to be looking at what 14 15 pound or you can spray them with proper cans but then you might be looking at maybe about 50 pound uh, with your sandpaper uh, a lot of time sanding a um, primer or etch primer a base coat and then a clear um, as I say you might be looking at about 50 pound uh, for some really good paint but you do get a good finish. Number seven is going to be a simple mod dust caps. Um, so you can get some dice, you can get skull heads, you can get basically everything now. Um, different coloured, you name it, you can get it. And you can pick them up off of eBay or Amazon or all like that from a couple of quid. £10 depending which way you want to go, how expensive or how much you want to spend but yeah you can get them from a couple of quid up to £10. Number 8 on this list is going to be wheel nut covers or different wheel nuts. So wheel nuts over time can start rusting looking bad so you can rather take them out, you can spray them uh, black or you can spray them a different colour depending on how snazzy you want to get um, or you can just get some wheel nut covers um, I've seen these for about £13 I've seen a lot that get like gun shells um, or ones that stick out into like chrome points and all sorts um, so that's just like a really simple mod um, just literally just put them over as covers on your wheel nuts also make sure that you get enough for all your wheels and not just one side else you might get some funny looks um, so yeah that was the number eight number nine is going to be window tints this is probably going to be the most expensive thing on this list um, you do want to be taking this to a professional because I know myself that this is not easy um, I've tried this myself. Flat windows, you can just about get away with it, but as soon as you come to curves, uh, the cheap window tint in vinyl, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't like stretching. So as soon as you start adding heat, it starts frazzling up, or then you're not putting enough heat. But take it to a professional, depending on how big your car is and where you go, what standard to do it at, you could be looking at if it's a small car around 100, and, 100 to 130 and then like bigger cars like a Mondeo or Vectra or a big Mercedes you might be looking at somewhere all from 130 to 160 maybe more depending how expensive the company is um, but you do get privacy you can go really light in depending what sort of security you want or how much you don't want people to see you or you can go just fold them up. So that was the number nine. Number ten is going to be light tints. Um, I've actually done this on the channel, and I think the tin of paint cost me four eighty, and I've used a little scotch pad to scotch pad the light up, uh, the real lights. I don't really recommend doing your front. Um, unless you're going to get stronger bulbs put in or you don't go that dark um, but your rears a tin of some rear tinting spray you can pick that up for about 
four pound, four pound eighty, and then you just need a red scotch pad, scotch it up, wipe it down, two or three light coats, and it should give you the perfect tint. Um, so yeah, that's been the cheap exterior mods, or my top ten cheap exterior mods. Um, remember to support the channel by clicking this button that's going to be somewhere around here and then there's going to be two videos right here. Till next time guys, see you later.